And I was a child of the King era. I had already applied to grad school, and I had been admitted to Harvard, to the University of Chicago, to Brown, to Penn, and to MIT in material science and in physics. So I had visited Brown, and I was visiting Penn the day that uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated. And so thinking about all that I had been through, thinking about the movement that King and others led to open doors, uh, thinking about what I had learned from all of my experiences, and being a pretty good student. I thought, well, if I stay at MIT, one, I'll certainly get a good graduate education. But two, perhaps I, because I knew the place and had been there, that I could make a difference in having MIT be more open and hospitable to uh, minority students. And, and so that's, that was a big reason why I stayed.